Wild Talents by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 24G. This is becoming a stock retreat. Before he shot himself in August 1925, Professor Kemmerer accused of having faked with India Inc. what he called the choir characters in the feet of toads explained that he had been betrayed by an assistant. I conceive that, though Pavlov retreated before a higher authority, his white mice may have been keener in a second generation, though nobody else's white mice would have been of any improved discernment in a fifteenth generation, and that, though biologically, nuptial pads could not appear upon the feet of Professor Kemmerer's toads. Pictures on hailstones, a face on a cathedral wall, and an insect takes on the appearance of a leaf. That it may be that a man did not altogether deceive himself and others, but that feigned markings did appear upon the feet of toads, as responses to his theory, but in all the uncertainty and the evanescence of the incipient, that, convinced that he was right, Professor Kammerer may have supplemented feigned markings with India ink, just to tide over, at a time of inquiry, then exposure, suicide.